Hey folks, Ermin here, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to use the libname statement to save data sets permanently. So this is actually a question I got from one of my students in one of my SAS courses, and I'm going to go ahead and explain it. So I'm using SAS on demand for academics. It's also known as SAS Studio. And SAS Studio works in the cloud. So you log in to what's essentially a browser. And when you go here, if you go to Files and Home, you have an option to upload all of your data sets that you want to work with. And the way that you refer to any data sets, if you need to import them, import them, in this case, I haven't imported anything. I've just put in the data in stream. This is less common, but if you're not doing anything too big, uh, for example, here I only have four rows and some data associated with these names here. So I can just do it in stream. I don't need to actually create a CSV or TXT file and then import, import that. So this is called putting it in stream and here, the way that you put it in stream is to use the card statement, which says to SAS that the next line after this is going to have a bunch of data. In any case, that's not the point. The first thing though that I want to show you is if I go ahead and run, so there's two data steps here. Actually, let me just get rid of this one. There's no reason for to have two. And I'm just going to run this data set. When you just run things like this without creating a permanent library using the libname statement, what happens is that this gets saved to what's called a work library. And a work library is a temporary library. And by temporary, all I mean is that when you close the session, that data set disappears. So if you go to the left hand side on SAS Studio down here, you'll see a bunch of options and one of them is libraries. If I click on that and then click on my libraries here, you're going to see that there's a work library right at the end here. And notice that there's a sales and there's a sales too. And this is because I ran this beforehand. Let me get rid of this one here. So actually, let me get rid of both of them. So you see what I mean. So I'm going to delete this as well. And now you're going to see nothing in here, right? And now when I rerun it, you're going to see it go in there. Okay. So there I've ran it and then I'll just go back here and there it is under the work, work library. Now the problem is that once you exit out, that's just going to disappear there. So the data set goes away. If you wanted to still be there, if you wanted to be saved permanently, you need to use the lib name statement. So very simple. You put it right up at the top and you say lib name, which is the statement. Then you want to give that a reference, a name. So my data or something that's very specific to the data set that you're uploading. And then what you need to do is you need to go back here to up top server files and folders. And if you just right click on here and see properties, you can see the location of where those data sets get stored on the uh, server. So all you need is single or double quotation marks and then you paste that in semicolon right there. And what you will notice is uh, you can rather run this first by itself like that. And you can see that it says libref my data was successfully assigned as follows. Okay. And it tells you the physical name in the engine. And if I go back to libraries, you should now see one that says my data. Okay. So it's right there. Now there's no data set in it because I didn't actually run this data step here, the sales uh, data step. That is the name of the output data set that I'm creating with this data step. Now, the next thing that I have to do though, is if I just run this this way, I'm actually not going to get a data set inside of this library. Why? Because I actually have to 
refer, use this reference that I've created up here within my data step. So I have to say my data dot sales. Okay. So you're using the reference to your library dot the name of the data set here, which happens to be sales. So if I run it, it will now show up under that actual library. Okay. So there it is, you can click on it, and there's your output. So super cool. The other cool thing is if you go back to server files and folders, you're gonna see it right here. So look at it here. So you have a SAS data set right here. You were able to save it permanently. Now when you get out of SAS Studio, this data set is going to remain here when you come back in, whenever you come in, it will still be there. So that is how you use the libname statement to create a permanent library. By the way, I'll mention one final thing. If you want to now download this directly onto your computer, all you have to do is right click on it and do download file and it's going to download it onto your actual computer. So hopefully that was super clear and I'll see you next time.